Hello everyone, it's me Jebby from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to get sidebar showing time, CPU, RAM, GPU, drives, and network in Windows computer. So, without further more delay, let's begin. So, firstly, just open any web browser and in the Google search, just search for the application MS Sidebar Diagnostics and just scroll down below and you can see here arcade Renek rate and sidebar diagnostics so this is the developer website so i will highly recommend to go to this website just click on it now you will see its official website so you can read the details of this applications by scrolling down but i'll recommend you to click on this release directly to go to the download page so just scroll down below now you will see here tons of files so you can download either the setup.exe or .msi or you can download the zip file also whichever you like you can download any one of it so i'm going to download this first one setup so it's starting to download so wait for a few seconds until the complete downloading is done so finally the file has been downloaded so let me go to the folder where it is being downloaded and let me close this web browser so finally you can see the setup just double up click it to run this software installer so finally you can see some sidebar appearing on the right side of the desktop screen right so you can click on this yes if you want to is the sidebar visible and dock you can just click on yes and now you can close it or you can go to the settings but right now I will just close it firstly wait for a few seconds so finally you can see the complete sidebar showing uh, time CPU RAM drive GPU and even the networks right so everything is being shown right under this sidebar right so you can just click on this tray menu and just click on this sidebar diagnostic icon just right click on it and let us go to the settings of this application now under the settings you can see a tons of options like general so under the general you can change the dock positions from the right to left whatever you like from the screen if you have a different multiple screen if you have a second screen still you will find it so right now I'm using only one screen you can change the language you can reserve space always on top auto update and run it startup so if you want to make it run you can just keep it on run it startup so if you don't want to make it run all the time when you turn on your computer then you can disable this option also so here one interesting note is that you can see here one option here reserve space right so that means this space you are seeing right now on the right side is being reserved for this sidebar so whenever you open an application right so let me open and let me maximize so you can see here it's not completely taking the space that is being occupied by this sidebar diagnostics so right so if you want to make any software or application to use the complete size of your desktop screen then you can just disable this reserve space right so now after disabling this reserve space and click on apply and now whenever you maximize any program you can see the program is completely using your desktop size right or the desktop screen size so now still the sidebar diagnostic is still appearing above the software or any program right so you want to make it hidden whenever you maximize any program or you are using any program in the full screen mode right so for this you can see here one more option always on top so right now it is being enabled so let us disable this and click on apply now whenever you maximize the program the sidebar diagnostic will remain hidden but don't worry it's still visible in the desktop if you minimize it it's still visible so this is the way you can just customize this sidebar diagnostic depending upon your needs how to make it appear all the time so let us jump to the next topic 
so here is a uh, advanced next to it so here it bunch you can scale down the ui to increase horizontal offsets particle offsets polling intervals so tray icon so if you don't want to make to show in the tray icon then you can just disable this option toolbar mode click through hide at startup and tons of options like collapse menu bar and there is more options like customize under the customize you can change the color of this background say you can just change the color to say I will change to green and you can just click on apply now you can see the background of this sidebar diagnostics has been trans tra changed into green in color and you can change the opacity also depending upon how much opacity you want to apply so depending upon your needs so let us apply so you can see here uh, we have completely make it transparent also so here lots of customization option is available under this customized option you can change the font size text alignment you can change the alignment also like from left to right so if I click on right and click on apply so you can see here the value of this respective informations are placed in the right side if you like the right side then you can place or if you want the left side again you can just click on left and it will be close by to the informations so here are tons of options so I'll not make you bored by showing all the options so you can use and try by yourself this customized option and there next to it is the monitors so here what are the information is being shown so right now by default it is being enabled like CPU RAM GPU drives network whatever you want to show under the sidebar diagnostic it will all get displayed so if you don't want something to hide then you can just disable and click on apply and the last option is the hotkeys right now they are not set by default so if you want to add some hotkeys that is our keyboard shortcuts then you can just add depending upon your needs so these are all the things or options you will be getting under the settings options of this sidebar diagnostics application so if you if you find so in my opinion it provides almost very useful information so if you are a person who's always eager to know how much your RAM is consuming or how much the applications are using during your work time then you can get a complete details in side by side while using your different programs on your respective Windows computer so definitely a very useful tool that you should give it a try so you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to a channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching